Because Jesus gives us some instructions on how do we get to the kingdom of God. And as adults, we got to keep doing our best to have that innocence, that trust, as Reese has with mom and dad. He depends totally on mom and dad for his total existence, whether it be the food, the change, the housing, or whatever. You know, he's just there taking it all in, isn't he? Just accepting everything on complete trust. And the more mom and dad love and nurture him, the more that he will respond to the child of God. For today, he comes into God's family. He will be clean for Christ for eternity. You know, for eternity. And that's where we're all destined by our baptism. We're destined to spend eternity with God. And Jesus scolded the apostles. He says, let them come to me. Bring the children to me. So when you see uh, little children you know, coming into our, our family, how beautiful it is that we have the children here today to help us adults celebrate this. And I have two, you know, is it Paul, Paul, Paul and Anne, Ava? Both of them are going to assist me, you know, and Paul and I, I said to him, well, you might be a priest someday. And, you know, my mom says, well, he's not Catholic. Oh, they were going to be that one. But by your baptism, by your baptism, we are all called, and today, Reese will be called as priest, prophet, and king. So you are called as king. You are called as queen, as, you know, in God's family. So, that's what this great celebration is about. We're being claimed for Christ today. We're being marked for God's destiny. The destiny of heaven. But as adults now, and as children even, we work our way through life always loving God and Him. So if we don't do that, we have risk then. So that's why it's so important that we always just love God and neighbor with our whole hearts. So, I dare not go into a 25-minute homily or anything like that. That was done in the math. So, <laughs> we're going to move forward, all right?